Hello everybody and welcome to the um, to the this virtual open day of Trinity uh, College Dublin. And on behalf of the, the School of Physics and the School of Mathematics, I would like to uh, welcome you to this uh, this talk um, about the degree in, in theoretical uh, physics. Um, so I would like to, to start out by just asking a couple couple questions which are of interest to theoretical physicists and to give you a flavor of the things we are uh, we are thinking about. Okay, so in this uh, this first uh, slide, I've uh, displayed here Galileo Galilei, um, who dropped, who found out that if you drop two balls, for instance, two balls, a small one and a, and a, and a big one, uh, from the, the tower in Pisa, uh, then they will fall both at the, the same the same speed. And he did this experiment, in fact, around the same time uh, as the foundation of Trinity uh, College. And we've learned in, in high school that the speed of falling objects can be determined using conservation of energy. But have you ever pondered why is energy actually conserved? Well, this, this question and, and also his answer leads you to very deep aspects of the, of the geometry of space and time and, and theories I cannot really get into here. Um, but it's one of the questions theoretical physicists are, um, are thinking about. Um, in another direction, you have learned that a solid consists of, of molecules, which can be further decomposed into atoms, which can be further decomposed into nuclei, which are sitting here in the middle. And these nuclei can be further decomposed in terms of nu nucleons, which are sitting here in these little balls. And even these nucleons, they consist of quarks, which interact using uh, gluons. And so we have reached extremely tiny lengths, which are about 10 to the minus 18 meters. And here we are, actually, this, this whole regime, you really need quantum theory to describe these, uh, these, these states of matters. And would you be interested to learn about what are the, the possible, what exotic phenomena can happen if you put many of these, these quantum particles uh, together? Um, for example, what happens is that if you reduce the temperature, and at some point the resistivity might drop to zero, and we have the exotic phenomena of uh, superconductivity. Or would you be interested to go to even even smaller length scales? These length scales we here have that you really have to understand the interactions of the of, of the gluons inside the inside the nuclei. These um, to study these these particles experimentally, people consider these these accelerators at, at CERN, where particles go around in, in a circle of about a hundred. Um, or maybe 20 kilometers in, in circumference. And their mathematical description requires really advanced uh, technologies. Um, but also in the other direction, uh, the large the large scales you have you have learned you know that that the, that the planets cir um, circle the, the sun, and it's described by Newton's universal law of gravitation. But you can go to other regimes of of, of, of gravity. Um, where, the, where the description is not so, so simple anymore. For example, in, in, in black holes, black holes are so heavy, for example, you can put three solar masses within a, a distance of only three uh, kilometers, you get very specific uh, phenomena. Uh, one of these phenomena is that light cannot escape anymore, and therefore they appear as, as being black. And we see that, that here and here in the, in the circle, there's no light which comes, comes out of it. Um, and these black holes, they, there's big progress now, uh, in a sense, uh, experimentally. What I'm showing here is actually a real picture of a black hole. Uh, previous years, I needed to, to show an, an animation or, a, or, or simulation. But recently, it has been possible to actually make a picture of a black hole and see that there is no light um, emitted by the black hole. And these, these black holes also pose many theoretical questions, in particular related to, to quantum mechanics, if you want to combine quantum theories together with, uh, with, with, with gravity, uh, black holes are important objects for us to, um, uh, to explore uh, theoretically. Well, if you're interested in these kind of, of questions, then yes, theoretical physics might be the right course uh, for you. Now, usually, if you do theoretical physics, um, we often have these, these, these nice pictures in, in our head but what we really try to do is to, to, to try to describe 
the phenomena and capture them in terms of mathematical equations. Usually we work just on a, on a, on a blackboard, like the one here uh, behind me, and we are um, uh, brainstorming and, and generating uh, ideas and uh, making sketches, and after a while the blackboard may, may look like this, full of uh, formulas and mathematical uh, calculations. Okay. And for this, this reason, this, this degree in, in, in theoretical physics is, uh, is taught jointly by the School of Mathematics and the School of Physics. And in fact, in the, in the, inside the School of Physics there are quite a number of, of theoretical physicists. Uh, since this, this interaction between math and, and physics has been very fruitful. On the one hand, we are stimulating uh, developments in, in mathematics, and on the other hand, the, the physicists can directly import import new theoretical or mathematical insights uh, to describe um, physical phenomena. So in this, this diagram I've uh, displayed a little bit the structure of, of Trinity College. Uh, Trinity College is uh, in a sense um, uh, divided into uh, three uh, faculties. And the relevant faculty for theoretical physics is the faculty of engineering, science and, and mathematics which itself is, is further subdivided into um, eight schools. And two of the schools are the School of Maths and the School of Physics, which jointly teach the, the, this degree in, in theoretical physics. And some of the modules are taught by the staff in, 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 in the School of Maths, and the other modules are taught by the staff in the School of Physics. Um, so, uh, you might have, have heard that theoretical physics, that, that, uh, that the education at Trinity College has, um, um, has developed uh, a lot recently. There's a, a lot, lot of work has been done to, to modernizing the, the curricula um, under the name of the Trinity Education Project. And under this, this, this big project, that the theoretical physics is one of the courses with a, prof, a so-called professional architecture, which are particularly um, um, it's particularly used for courses which are um, so-called accredited. So theoretical physics is accredited by the Institute of, of Physics, which every couple of years um, survey our, our degree um, um, to, and then it's kind of a quality, a quality stamp, uh, a quality label for the, for the degree. Uh, this means that our uh, degree is a single entry and single exit, so you can kind of see that here on the, on the diagram there's just one straight line from, from top to, uh, to bottom. Other degrees might uh, kind of branch off into different, uh, different directions. I should emphasize there is various opportunities to, um, um, to, to choose your, your modules, for example Trinity electives and, and open modules. Um, but there is a single, you enter as a theoretical physicist and you uh, exit as a theoretical uh, physicist. Um, it is a competitive entry, I should um, mention. Uh, it's one of the most competitive mo uh, courses in, in Trinity. Um, in terms of the requirements, we are, the requirement is a B in the leaving certificate at higher level in both mathematics and uh, physics. Um, um, uh, applied maths is, is recommended, but it is not quite necessary. So if you didn't follow applied maths, then you can still enter this, uh, this degree. Uh, the CO points, they differ a little bit from, from year to year, but they are typically in the range between uh, 540 and 570. Okay, let me tell a little bit more about the, the structure of the of the course from year to year. Um, as I said, the, the modules, they're kind of either in the School of Maths or the School of Physics. Starting in, in year one, in the School of Maths, you will follow, learn um, uh, important uh, mathematics, calculus and linear algebra, uh, but also um, a comprehensive course in mechanics and techniques for theoretical physicists. School of Physics, you will uh, learn more uh, about aspects about more geared towards physics, such as special relativity, optics, statistics, electromagnetism, 
quantum mechanics and also laboratory work. Also, as a theorist, it's important to develop the experimental skills and experimental intuition, which you will develop in the, in the lab. Uh, then moving on to year uh, two, in the School of Maps, you will learn advanced mechanics, mathematical techniques, analysis, and, uh, and geometry. And in the School of Physics, uh, thermodynamics, electromagnetism, materials, chaos and complexity, nuclear and particle physics, uh, aspects of the universe, and more uh, laboratory work. Also in this year, there will be, you will have a model choice, there will be Trinity electives and open modules to, uh, to choose from. Moving on to the, the last two years, year three and year four, in the School of Maths, we have a, um, a number of quite formal uh, courses in theoretical physics, particular statistical physics, electrodynamics, quantum mechanics. In the School of Physics, we will also continue the subjects atomic and statistical physics, quantum matter physics, and laboratory work. And you can choose a number of other modules. And finally, in, in year four, by this stage, you will really reach uh, the theories um, I was elucidating to in the beginning of this, uh, this presentation. Um, the School of Maths, there are courses in the standard model, quantum field theory, general relativity, simulations of quantum field theory. And in the School of Physics, there's quantum matter theory, nanoscience, and cosmology. Um, also in this, this fourth year, there is the, the Capstone uh, Research Project, um, which is a little bit uh, new. We have been doing projects already since, since uh, many, many, many years. Um, but the Capstone Project is, a, is, a more, is a, in a sense, that the project has, um, has, has gained in, in weight. Uh, you might have heard that every student now at TCD will have the opportunity to do such a, a Capstone a project where all the skills learned over the, over the last during his or her studies um, come together. And uh, in theoretical physics, we have a particular wide range of, of, of subjects to, um, to offer particular solid state physics, quantum matter theory, fundamental interactions, quantum field theory, quantum gravity, cosmology, holography, etc. These projects are supervised by, by staff in, in Trinity College uh, who actively research these, uh, these subjects. It's um, quite a comprehensive uh, project. It amounts to 20 uh, credits, which is about 33% um, of the academic year. Okay, so it's really a nice way to uh, conclude your, your studies in, in, in theoretical uh, physics. Then what, uh, what to do after graduating? Now many of our, our graduates, they continue with a PhD to start an academic career. And, and Trinity uh, College has a long tradition of leading a theoretical physicist. Um, I'd like to mention a few. There is um, um, Hamilton. Uh, maybe you have heard of the, or have visited the bridge, um, but, um, which he, he crossed while he had one of his insights, and he had one of the insights for his, his most well-known uh, formulas. There's here a plaquette which remembers that event that he, he, was, he crossed the bridge on his way to, to Dublin when he uh, got this, this insight. Another uh, famous name is, is Sims, who did very um, fundamental work on, on black holes, in particular uh, in the understanding of the, this horizon uh, area of a black hole. Um, then there is uh, Schrodinger, who worked here for a number of years and uh, developed the Schrodinger equation describing quantum mechanical particles. And the last one to mention is, uh, is Fitzgerald, who was the first to uh, conceive the idea that objects, if they move very fast, that they actually uh, contract uh, what is now known as Lorentz contraction, we were actually discovered or first uh, put forward by uh, Fitzgerald. Also, our, our graduates who do not uh, continue with academia usually do not have a, have a hard time finding, a, finding, finding work. Uh, our graduates are under, under um, high demand of, of employers and usually they find employment in the education sector or the tech sector, software or financial sector. Okay, 
this uh, brings me to the end of my uh, presentation. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to, uh, to get in touch. And I'm looking forward to welcoming you to theoretical physics uh, next September. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.